The BBC's Steve Kingston at the court case. Well, we can now speak to Dustin Chase, who is a journalist for ABC Action News, which is based in Tampa, Florida. He covers the Tampa Bay area, which includes Sarasota, where those two British tourists were shot almost a year ago. Now, Sean Tyson was seen being led out of court, shaking his head. What reaction to the verdict and, of course, the sentencing in Florida? Sean Tyson might have been the only one really surprised by this because this has received a lot of media attention and in light of some of the witness testimony that your correspondent just told us about, um, we knew that there was a lot of evidence stacked up against Sean Tyson, so I don't think that it really surprised anyone around here. Was the length of time that it took the jury to come to their conclusion not surprising, the t those two and a half hours? I got to tell you, from a personal perspective, it was a little bit surprising because usually we, we see uh, juries in the United States take five or six hours at least, especially when we have uh, a trial that goes on for five or six days. So it was a, a little unusual for it to be so fast, but I think that, again, goes back to just the amount of evidence and the quality of the witness testimony that we saw. And we had statements from the family, from James Cooper's family, and a video from James Cazares' parents. A very poignant statement from both those families. It was heartbreaking um, seeing the video play in court and then watching some of this stuff unfold in court. We were able to watch it live back here at the station, and our hearts just break for these families because they have suffered an immeasurable tragedy, really, senseless, senselessly. And this case has had the eyes of the world on Sarasota. Just explain what kind of pressure the police and the jury system were under to get this case sewn up. I think that that's an interesting question because from the very moment this story crossed our desk, we knew that it was going to be huge. The BBC had someone here within a day of the story breaking. So there was tremendous pressure on this relatively small police force. And terms of the size of Florida. So there was a tremendous amount of pressure for them to both get this right and do it quickly because there were so many people here watching to make sure that the investigation went smoothly. Dustin Chase from ABC Action News. Thanks very much. Now, Rico, more pressure on North Korea over its planned missile test.